Well, good morning, Kentucky, and welcome back. It's now 641. You have the chance to step back in time this weekend with a performance this weekend at Camp Nelson. It's called Blow Ye the Trumpet Blow. And joining us this morning is Mary Kozak and Donna Phillips. Thank you, ladies, so much for Thank being you. on the show this Thank morning. You, Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Well, Donna, this play is set during Civil War times. It takes place at Camp Nelson. Right. And a lot of African-American families were taking refuge there during that time. That ended up being a very difficult time. And you kind of spotlight one of those families. Uh, yes. We uh, basically spotlight the family of Private Joseph Miller, who mm -hmm. is buried at Camp Nelson. And he and his family resided there uh, during a period when the African American women and children were put out of the camp in the middle of winter. And as a result, many of them uh, eventually died from cold and exposure. So I'm sure this is a very difficult play, you know, for the audience to, walk, to watch and to know that this actually happened. This is actually a part of our state's history. Well, actually, we approached it from the um, the perspective of the refugees as a day in the life. So you, there are actually lots of moments of levity as well as you laugh with them, you cry with them, you hear about their hopes, their dreams, their aspirations, the stories they tell, the food that they ate and things like that. So um, there's a lot of uh, joy and, and some laughter leading up to the event. So you probably feel like you know them by the, by the end. I do. My, mm -hmm. my writing partner, Georgiana Riddle, and I, we, we immersed ourselves in the story and in the research, and we feel like these characters are our family now. Oh. So. <laughs> well, Mary, I know you wanted to get the story out because a lot of people who live here and grew up here didn't know the story of Joseph Miller. Correct, correct. Camp Nelson is a project of Jessamine County Fiscal Court, mm -hmm. and we work very closely with the Camp Nelson Foundation whose mission is to educate the public on Camp Nelson. Mm -hmm. Camp Nelson started in June 1863, and it started as a Union Army Supply Depot. And then when the African Americans were enlisted in 1864, that is when the uh, African Americans came from all over Kentucky, and many of them brought their wives and children, mm -hmm. uh, grandparents, and uh, they had come to Camp Nelson because they wanted freedom. So uh, on a cold November night in 1864, they were expelled out of Camp Nelson after being expelled seven times before that. Mm -hmm. And on this particular day, it was very cold. They had gone into Nicholasville about six miles away, and uh, there's about 400 of them. And as a result, 102 of them had perished. Mm -hmm. So this is a story that we feel needs to be told. Mm -hmm. This is part of all of our history. And this story to me relates to everyday struggles, not as severe at that time, but uh, we're all struggling with, with our lives and with our emotions and families and, and so forth. So we hope everybody comes to Camp Nelson on uh, this Saturday and Sunday. Tickets are $15 for the play and a dinner. And it's a, a period dinner. And uh, Camp Nelson is about six miles south of of uh, Nicholasville okay. on US 27. Well, thank you ladies so thank much. You. Thank tickets, you. Kelly. Tickets bluegrassarts.org. Okay, and Bluegrass we welcome Arts. everybody to come. Okay, thank you all so much for being thank on the you. show. And thank it should you. be a nice weekend for people to come out to that this weekend. We'll talk about today's weather, which includes some rain coming up next. Stay with us.